when we think about the internet, we think about the open web. As fate would have it, the web isn't necessarily as open as we think. A lot of people have been working on trying to make the web a little bit more open. This is a huge movement. Uh, one company is getting a lot of attention for it, and it's called Ola. Ola enables you to get around a lot of these borders that we have on the internet. It unlocks access to Netflix in the United Kingdom, in Norway. They might have different movies you can watch over there that you can't watch in the United States. Take a movie like Argo. If I were in Norway and I was on Netflix, I could watch it. Well, now I could be sitting in the United States and I can install the plugin and it would enable me to essentially watch Argo uh, from my home. It's technology that's existed for a long time. It's called VPN, which stands for Virtual Private Network. So whereas it used to be you're going from point A to point B, now we're adding in all these middlemen. If I have Ola and I've installed it on my computer and my computer's idle, if someone from China wants to connect to Facebook, they can actually connect through my computer as almost a router and it's untraceable and it's encrypted traffic. So it's safe and secure. When I spoke to the founder, I said, so you make it so I can watch my favorite movie if I'm abroad. And he said, no, no, no. And he, and he made me kind of take a step back very quickly because legally I might not be able to. It doesn't actually say you should go do this, but it says here are the keys and do what you want with it. It makes the internet more open. These traditional barriers that are put up by the government or that are put up by Netflix or Hulu can be easily diverted.